So here is Noden, and again, building up on, I've, I've been able to kind of go up, get notched, nose touches. I can uh, put the lead rope on him pretty easily. Uh, but now we're graduating to uh, trying to get the stick a little bit further through his body because again, I can touch his nose and his neck and that's all fine, but I want to use the stick to um, see if that will help me get a little bit further and it keeps me a little bit more protected. But you can tell he kind of leans backwards a little bit and he doesn't really like the touch of the stick, which is really funny because he lets me touch with my hand right there with no no kind of problems but you can see he is uh, um moving away from it so i'm just gonna wait here until i can kind of get him to touch it and then i'm going to take it off so i'm just waiting in there so it's it's been a little interesting because again I, I wasn't quite expecting him to have that kind of reaction to it because he has been good to the touch and generally when they're okay to the touch they're fine with the stick um, because most Mustangs it's the opposite way around um, they prefer an inanimate object like a stick because there's no real energy with the stick versus your hand, it has your heartbeat, a pulse. Generally, that can cause horses to um, tense up sooner. But there he handled the touch and it allowed me to kind of move it a little further back on his body. And just kind of going through where I can touch. I, mean, I got him to where he'll let me now move the stick to his hip. And then he said, hey, I don't like it touching my leg there. So again, a bit different from um, my other horse, Denali, who again is from the same herd, but they have a lot of similarities, but they are very, very different. So this guy actually reminds me a lot of, of my last uh, horse, Zephyr. You can see I am just staying steady. And I'm just waiting for him to change his body a little bit. And I just have to go through the weight right now. Because he just likes to move his hiney. There we go. As soon as we got the stop, then I walked away and gave him a pretty long break after that. I think it's really important to give him the break. Sometimes I'm, uh -huh, I have to tell myself because you, you're in the moment and you think you've waited long enough, but oftentimes you need to wait just a little bit longer. So now I'm going to try to move his feet. Again, anytime you'll see me, I'm kind of moving in those diagonal lines to teach him to get the pressure to come off the halter a little bit. Just those little angles help some. So now he's starting to, his neck is a little bit more level, and I'm just working with the stick. <laughs> touching the front of the leg and he kind of went to spin backwards a little bit. So I'm going to go back and readdress it. There he let me touch his foot and then I took it off. And anytime he kind of lifts his leg, when I'm using the stick, I'll go back up to the point of reference where he was okay with it and then take it off again. And then you're just trying to build upon that. So there is a lot of feel and timing during the process of when I know I can push, where to then go back. So now I'm back on the back leg again.
and that was pretty good. He let me then just, and I'm looking for just a quick, just glancing touch so they can start to get more comfortable with me being in that area and realizing that uh, I'm not going to take his legs off. So now I'm on his right side. He gave me, he let me go a little bit further back, so I was going to give him a, a good break again. And actually let uh, Ellen come in and help pick the paddocks. He He's fine. As far as reactivity goes, he doesn't really mind people walking around behind him or that doesn't set him off or anything. It's really just about his little bubble. So here I'm working with the stick a little bit. I'm going to use my right hand to block him. And he's handling that really well with the rope. Sometimes that can worry them. Um, but again, not too worried. I was able to go touch by the hip and then walk away. And again, you'll see a little bit of that worry there. So I'm just going back up to the point of reference and there he stood and that was really good. Um, and then let him follow the stick some. So again, I'm gonna use my right hand to block. And he's still, he's not super kicky, but he's, he's telling me he is not a fan. Maybe a little bit more on the right side than the left. But it's all very common. You see, he wants to use his head, which is, again, very, very typical. They're going to use their head to kind of block, to position you. So you have to kind of use your hand. And it's just like telling him it's okay. I can touch you and I'm not going to hurt you and it's totally fine. That's all I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to get across to him. And just working on if I can get just a little bit further down on the leg. And that was actually pretty good. So now when I go to walk away, he's willing to follow. So that's starting to get pretty good in the help of uh, leading. And then I'm going to go back and work on the left side. That was actually pretty darn good because he handled it all the way past the hawk. And that was, that was perfect. He didn't pick up the foot. And then I was able to just walk away. So now I'm just gonna see if I can switch sides. And oftentimes, the right side can be the more difficult side. Doesn't mean they have any sight issues. It's just more so what they're used to. Um, and also, you know, horses can be left or right-handed, just like people. So, again, he's a little bit more, you can kind of see with the camera. He still wants to pick up the left leg, but I'm just going to wait out. And it's getting, the feeling is it's getting a lot less reactive. So I thought that was pretty good. He let me kind of touch that foot and I wasn't getting too bad of a kick from it. And so now I'm just gonna spend some time here really rubbing his face. And I sped this up for you guys, just so you can see like I spend a lot of time just hanging out and going back and rubbing him. And you see he's much more comfortable with my hand than he was with the stick, but that's okay. 
I, I prefer that, but as far as safety goes, that's why we like to try to use the stick first when they're being a little reactive. I'm gonna take his lead rope off now because we're nearing the end of the session. And I thought he was really good. I was able to touch all four of his legs with the stick. Uh, and I'm just working on here, trying to find in some good touch spots on his face. I'm getting some releases right there. Some lick and chews. And uh, I was really happy with him. Um, I thought that was a pretty good day for Noden.